Yeah, it feels good. Um, I was just confident. Everyone was confident. We knew at halftime that we had to switch some things, and we did. Really proud of our guys more than anything with that win. Really, this team just fights. Like, we know what we got to do when we're out there, and you can see that throughout the whole year. We, we never give up. We keep fighting, and that's what you got to respect about these guys. Yeah, I mean, every time I shoot a three, I feel like it's going in. Um, I don't really shoot that much, but when I take him, it's a good one. Everyone feels good. Um, we know what we got to do. We know what's in front of us. It's about locking in, doing the work, and getting prepared for next weekend. Get two big wins. Man, that's, it's lovely, man. Uh, one of the reasons why I came back home, man, is for this feeling right here, man. Couldn't, couldn't ask for anything better. We wasn't, in, uh, defensively, we wasn't locked in. Uh, we was letting them get a lot of easy things, a lot of uh, offensive layups. Um, we went in the locker room and we really talked like, bro, we got to lock down. Like, this ain't how I'm trying to end my last game here, you're saying. So just go out, do all you can, and let's get this dub. And that's what they did. They responded real well, proud of them. Yeah, man, uh, just trying to be step up, be that leader that my coach asked me to be all year. So last chance to do it in front of my family and my uh, friends here. So just had to go out and do it. Me and him talk, he was like, come on, bro, we got to get you a couple more buckets, uh, get you a three. And man, he hit that big crucial three in the uh, corner. So we got his, we got the job done. That, that's the story of our season. Nothing ever easy. We don't, we don't like to go up too much. We don't like, we like to go down and, and fight our way back. So, you know, proud of our guys. You know, I thought we were playing a little outside of ourselves in the first half, but I thought second half led by Tyree, led by Chandler, that we came back, we played the way that we're capable of playing and played our style of basketball. And I loved our guys' toughness in the second half and in overtime. Yeah, I think we figured out they really couldn't guard us in ball screens and they couldn't guard us inside. Thought Quave stepped up. Uh, especially in the overtime and just made made the right play every time. Tyree was kind of in refused to lose mode, it felt like. Um, you know, he didn't, uh, made great plays, made great decisions, finished, made some free throws. And the one thing with our team, I think we've been in that, that, <laughs> that scenario so many times this year, we never feel like we're out of it because we're capable of making runs. And it was just like, hey, we just got to get one more stop, one more stop, one more stop. And the guys started believing in it. They started saying it in the huddle, and we were able to pull it out. I told Chandler when I got the job that we were going to get him confident in his shot again. Um, and we see it. He's shooting, I think, the highest percentage on our team, like four for five or five for six. So maybe we do need to let him shoot a few more. But he takes good ones. You know, he's been Mr. Reliable all year long. And he shows up every day to work. He'll do whatever the team needs us needs from him. And that's why I think he was rewarded in that moment. And Ty, you know, this whole second half of the year, this whole month, has been unbelievable for us and stepped up down the stretch.